Okay, I am here again. Uh, today I am going to speak a little bit about the Conway, Kanye West fiasco. I am um, not a person that I, I really favored, per se. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, his situation put me in the mind of the O.J. Simpson um, stuff back then in the day. He said so much things about his own black people that it rubs me the wrong way. It really does. Um, because you're black and I don't think you should be putting down or talking about or criticize your black people. You're not feeding them. You're not doing anything for them. So, you know, just leave it as that. Um, they run out and they're married to other race and they are thinking that the colonizer um, or people who have them, their four parents in slavery, it's going to change anything. It's not going to change anything. Your black people are here and they are here to stay. Who is going to support you is your black people. Black people, will, no matter what you say about your black people, they are always in your corner, especially if they know you don't do anything. And that man running up and down with a t-shirt that states, white life matters, which I don't have any problem with that. But he didn't wear a t-shirt that said Black Lives Matters. Because when people say Black Lives Matters, it's not that they think that wife, white life not matters. Every life matters. But black people get the, 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 the shit and hen of the stick has gone to my mother. And that's why we say Black Lives Matters because we are the one that killed. We are the one don't get the good job. We are the one living the shitty place. We, and, and that's why we are saying our life matters too. Maybe they should just put the two on there opposed to say Black Lives Matters. Black Lives Matters too. It's not only one race or two race life matter. All people life matters, but black people get the shit and end of the stick. So that's why they keep saying uh, black life matters to just make people know that we are here too and not just certain race. And he's up and down, he and that one, that stupid one that called Candace, uh, up and down um, with um, a t-shirt that states, wife life, white life matters. Now, now, who is the first one to throw your ass under the bus? Who is the first one? Who is the first one to throw your ass under the bus? The one who you are protecting. I don't see you getting there now and calling your, your, your people, calling your peeps that you like and that you, you, you hang out with. I don't see you calling any one of them. I don't see not one of them come out and say shit about you. Everybody's making you from a billion here down to a million here in the in a flash. In a flash. Yes. And I'm the first one to get on Facebook and all over and said, I don't give a shit about you. And I really don't. But you are my brother. You are black. And from your black, I'm going to stand with you. Although you shit on me, although you piss on me, I am going to stand with you. Because people don't want anything good for black people. They know the truth. They know who is the first Jew. They know the truth. They know uh, all of that thing. But you know something? Because you know that we don't have any stand in the world. Keep it to yourself. We know the truth. But my, and the Bible said, if there is any truth, every truth should be known, there would be no peace. If you are to get out and tell everybody all the things you know, which is truth, there won't be any peace. Leave it alone. Whoever want to call themselves this, let them call themselves that. 
Whoever want to call themselves this, let them call themselves that. You didn't make them. You are not their keeper. God made them. So leave them alone. You know the truth for yourself. You laugh to yourself and you move on. And if you had done that, your money would be in the bank. You work hard for your money. That song said, you work hard for your money. You work hard for your money. Keep it. I have an Adidas cap. I'm not going to get rid of it. But we should know the things that we are doing as a black people. We should know what we are doing. We should know who like us. Instead of putting money in people pocket who take it away from black people at the drop of a coin. You drop a coin on the ground. And by the time, I see people do a lot of things. People speak a lot of dirty things about black people. Nobody take away their, their, their money. Nobody do anything. But you're a black man, boom, they're going to take away your money. Because they control you. And who running out and buying their stuff? Burn their things that we have. We're supposed to find black bank. Black company to spend our money with. Stop giving it to these people that their family enslave us. Stop it. Their family enslave us for years. And we come here and make them into a millionaire. We go to their church and we give them 10%. 10% for what? I don't know. We give them 10% and we give them all our money and we make them into a millionaire. Stop it! Throw away your Louis Vuitton. Throw away your coach. Throw away all the striking bag that these people are getting. Stop buying their product. Stop buying their product. And then we talk about who, who, who they are millionaire. They're, they're, who make them millionaire? Who make them to be a millionaire? And they can take it away from you at the flesh, the drop of the hat. Look what they do to the man. In no time. Yes, he says something. It's a free speech. What, where is the free speech? If you can't open your mouth and say shit. While people jump down your throat while they have the option of saying anything they want. They have the option of doing anything they want. But as soon as a black person opens their mouth, boom. As soon as a black person opens their mouth, they eat you where it hurts. Right in your pocketbook. Are we eating them where it hurts? Are we hitting them in their pocketbook? No. Because we feel if we have a bag that says Louis Vuitton over our shoulder. We are walking with this man's name over our shoulder. We feel if we have a bag that says coach. We feel that we have a Michael Kors. If we have one, people are going to think that we are important. No, they won't. You know what they do? They call you damn stupid. To be spending three, four, five. I even see things. I see her shoes online for going for a thousand something. I said you gotta be cotton picking, man. My mad. A thousand something for a pair of shoes. Really? Is that gold shoes? Maybe that's Cinderella shoes. And I'm gonna take up my money and buy that? Hell no. Maybe if I go to a thrift shop and or, or a you a yard sale and I see it, I'll buy it. Who going to take the money and buy all that? To put money where? In whose pocket? I used to do that crap until I learned. I learned that nobody love you but your mother. Nobody love you but your parents. You think anybody love you? You think anybody love you? Kanye West, you think anybody love you? Get back in your black community. Get black back in your black community. You know, I don't understand. The minute these black men see they have two shillings, 
the skip race. They skip race and start saying all matter of evil thing about their race. This man come out and said slavery days um, was a choice. I was wa watching this lady online last night from Ghana. And she said in the pit there where the, the slavery people was all bound and tied up before the ship came and get them. She said all the feces that they defecate in the cave. They have to take shovel and thing to, 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 to clean out the cave. Because they couldn't go and do do they all tied up with the hand and the chain up on the wall. And so they have to do it right there in their clothes. And you sit there as a black man and tell me that it could be avoided. And it was a choice. How do you mean it was a choice? A choice for who? Who make it a choice? Why do you think it's a choice? Let me turn this light on over here. There's a little dog here. I don't know. Doesn't not make any difference. Why do you think it's a choice? Because you want to fit into the massive. You want to fit in with the massive. It's not a choice, baby. It's not a choice. My t-shirt is showing out here. It's not a choice. It was brought upon you. It was forced upon you. And there was not a damn thing we could have done. Not a thing we could have done when they take our babies and feed it to alligators. Not a thing when they rape our children and rape our husband and rape our sisters and rape our wives. Not a thing we could have done. Emmett Till was beaten and thrown in a lake. Not a thing that poor little baby could have done. And that woman is still walking up and down. If it was a black person that done that, they would have been hanging him. Because they hung a little baby boy. He could not even fit in the helmet. When they realized the boy they were lied upon. That's what we get. And you sit there and talk about slavery was a choice. Or colonizer didn't think so. Wasn't a choice. We have no, it was a choice because we didn't have any choice in the matter. We were round up like wood cattle and brought to different country. United States, England, Jamaica, wherever they take them. We go, they take us everywhere. And we are the only people on earth that is so abused. I don't care what anybody else want to say. And some people was, 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 was killed and massacred and whatever. And they never let us forget it. But every time we talk about slavery, everybody is up in arms. Nobody want to hear. It's something that they sweep under the rug. They don't want to teach it in school. And if they teach it in school, they teach a little baby thing. 400 years. And we are still in slavery. No good job. No matter the education we have. They don't want to hire you. They don't want to pay you money. They pay you $10. And you have to be doing two jobs in order to get $20. And then you leave your children. And they are the first one come up and said, Children, parents, don't stay with children. They put our husbands in, in prison. And the father first one come out and says, one parent's family, oh, husband not around, a man not around. Because you kill them. You put them in prison. Look how many black men in prison. Look how many black young men in the grave leave their children. I saw some police have to shoot a white man. And the white man have a little baby. And the police came out and said, oh, I'm so sorry for the baby. We will make sure that the child will never want enough anything. And they go up there and they collect money and thing for the child. How much of them collect money for a, 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 a black b b young man that they killed? They always dig up some shit and make some shit to say that man have criminal record and he was a criminal and the first thing they do they go around and get some shit to say you was and because you were you deserve to be hung look at that Kyle boy 
kill two people and walking up and down. <coughs> yes, that boy killed two people and up and down he was found innocent. And if they even, there's another man who killed his wife. And I saw the man get like seven years in jail. And if a black man have just a little marijuana, they gone to, to prison for life plus 90 years. What have we done that is so wrong? What have we done that is so wrong? What? Why the judges hate us, the district attorney hate us, the law lawyer hate us, they make up stories and make us people, make up people to come and testify falsely. They get people to come and testify falsely about, about you. They get people in prison to say, yes, you tell them things falsely. And give those criminal easy access. And you who are innocent, they put you to prison for life. You who are innocent, they put you to prison for life. And don't, don't even give it a second thought. Because you're black, you never tell the truth. Don't try to tell a police the truth. He's not believing you. Don't try to tell a judge the truth. He's not believing you. Why do they think? And they are the most liardest people you can ever find. Because they shed that crocodile tears. And my God. All hell break loose. Because they're staring you high. And because they're staring you high. They are telling the truth. Nothing be so further from the truth. Nothing be so further from the truth. And that is what our black people can't understand. Nobody is saying you can talk to people. You can't keep friends with people. I'm not saying that. But you know something? You got to keep your wits about you. You got to keep your wits about you. Because these people don't like you. These people don't like you. They only like you because you have money. They like you and they make the daughter marry you for five years or eight years and pop out two babies. And when you pop out two babies, then they, they have you all covered. They have you covered. Because you pop out the babies, and that's when they're gonna ha they are gonna they are gonna hit you where it hurts. You pop out the babies, and they're gonna hit you where it hurts. Because they get all your money, all your money. I saw a babysitter, somebody introduced the Tiger Wood, and look how much money you have to get. Look how much money she got. A babysitter. And we don't, don't do anything for our family. We don't do anything for our children. We don't plan anything. Go out and get life insurance. Especially these young men who are being knocked off and bumped off by police every, every day. Get a little life insurance so your children won't be paupers. Go out and do something. Change your life. Stop walking about thinking about it's only your private that matters. That you got to flash it here and flash it there. It's not only it that matters. That's not only it that matters. Think. Use your brain. Do things. Make things. Or slavery people was in slavery, but yet 
yet they have they managed to keep to make school make houses make this make that make the what are we doing what are we doing as much as they was in slavery as much as they still create do stuff from back then some people don't care if they have to give their life up they stand up they're not gonna sit at the back of the bus anymore they wrote book they wrote poem although some of the things they do they don't get any credit for because people take it away and call them their property and because their property did that because black people are being sold on the market as chattel so because they were being sold they become the property of someone else And that is where you are putting yourself with thinking that you can change anything by marrying someone, uh, by, by having children with someone um, who is your colonizer family. You won't change anything because deep down they're going to go. Last night I was on a program, 2 o'clock in the night, and that woman is a doctor with a PhD going on to doctor of the doctor, more, more, more degree from Ghana. And while she was there talking, somebody was on her live putting up banana and, and call her monkey. Your same people that you go to church with, you same people that you see in the supermarket, that you see walking on the street, that you say hi to, hiding, hiding behind the internet and say these things. So don't think that racism is a thing of the past, or it's gonna be got, gonna get rid of like that. You won't, because those wicked people die and they bring wicked children. And their wicked children are here and bring forth more wickeder children. They don't want us to have anything. They don't want us to have anything. They don't want us to be better. That's why we get less pay. That's why we get stupid, stupid education. That's why we don't tell the truth. They don't tell us the truth in the Bible. They don't, they don't want us to, have, to be smart. They don't have, want us to have anything. So because they don't want us to have anything, then that's why we are like that. And I'm going to follow them. I don't hate anybody. I don't have any hate in my heart. But you know something? I am using my smart. I am wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Because those people don't like you. Last night the woman says that they, they, they should come in there to apologize and said they're sorry. Well, some people say, you know what I mean, they're sorry what we've been through. But that guy keep putting up the banana and monkey and calling the doctor. Uh, you know what I mean? She's pushing hatred. We are not pushing hatred. It's out there. Is what we go through day and night. It's our life. People go to college and still can't get a job. And as your people come out of school, boom, there's somebody to hire them and give them muku buck. They are dumb as shit. Don't know anything. But you hire them and you give them muku buck. And if a black person come in there with tons of experience and tons of degree, you start them way down. I got a job at Home Depot one time, a part-time job to get up with my income. Home Depot start me off at maybe, I don't know, eight or nine something an hour. And a little baby white girl don't li live with her mother. Home Depot start her at $12 an hour. And tell us that we should not tell anybody how much we get. And when I asked the girl, 
That's what she was making. I was a big woman with, with my, my mortgage to pay. And that's what Home Depot start me out. Start me how that. So what do you think? Look at the, the look at you go to a job and in no time they fire you. They find some fault and say you do some shit that they have to fire you. And what? White people are in the job. I, I spoke to a when I used to work with Medicare Medicare. I, I spoke to a woman who is on a job for 30 years. And she said she's going to work six more years. She said that was the job she was in from she come out of school. I'm, I'm, I'm what I mean 30. I think it was 45 years. Because she said she, she was older and getting Medicare. And she said she leaves school at 16. And that's the job she had from she was 16 until she retired. So that means there's more, more than what I'm saying. Because if she leaves school from the 16, and when she sits, so it's more than 40 years, she was in the one goddamn job. And as black people say anything, they fire you. They don't find out what it is. And even if you are right, they give you the wrong. And, and why? Why? What have we done? We weren't the one who killed Jesus Christ. We weren't the one who killed Jesus Christ. What have we done? We were asked to be brought to brought here in slavery. And you're still going over Africa trying to take over Africa and take all the rich men, minerals and all the things out of Africa for yourself because you think that you own the world. You think that you own the world because you can go anywhere and take anything you want. You're in Jamaica, trying to rule Jamaica with the backside. Any weird thing there that it costs money, boom, you got to be there. With your wicked ass. You have to be there to get it. Because you have to have money. You go to Africa and people have to be mining the diamond in the hole. And they cannot take a piece. If they are digging and find oil in their yard, they can't touch it. If they are digging and find gold in their yard, they can't touch it. If they are digging and find diamond in their yard, they can't touch it. They have to call you to come and take it. Bullshit, you ain't coming in my yard. They have to call you to come and take it. So why the world belong to some people and some people are crap? God made this world. He didn't make it for certain, uh, uh, so to, to, for one people. He didn't make it for one person. He made it for all of us to live in there. We have to buy land. We shouldn't even have to buy land anywhere. Because a lot of these people capture the land and have it selling. But we have to buy it. We have to buy it. You get a house, you have to pay more taxes, you have to pay more taxes, and you have to pay more this, and you have to pay more that. You get your social security, they rob you. Every minute social security, oh, we didn't calculate it right. We didn't calculate it right. I've been getting social security now for almost four years, and every minute they come, oh, I didn't calculate it right. Oh, we didn't calculate it right. Because you have to get less money. Less money. And I saw people who don't work as hard as me getting more money more than me. But the Lord is my light and is my salvation. Even if there is no heaven to gain, I'd rather to live this way. Because I know there got to be something behind this. I didn't make myself. I didn't ask to be here. I was put here by something. And my father went to my mother. And I was conceived. So it got to be a higher power. It got to be an higher power. That caused me to be here. Hard, hard, hard life. And when I see your black people. Having a couple dollars, and the first thing they do, they skip race, and they run somewhere else. And when shit hit the fence, all of them turn their back. Look at OJ. 
all of them turn the back of you. Boom, you're guilty. Up until today, they say OJ is guilty. Although they were not there, they didn't see the man did anything. Boom. And they didn't, they didn't stop there. They go and go and go and go. Till they put him in prison for how many years? Because they have to get their satisfaction. You are black. And at the same time, they are killing, they are doing, and they are walking free. They are doing every evil thing because you have never seen evil people until you see these people. They are the epitome of evil. If you can chain up people and cut them belly baby out of the belly, drop it on the ground and stamp the baby with your feet. You take their children and feed it to the alligator. What kind of monster are you? And you have children coming up. Don't you think your, your, your evilness is going to rub off to these evil children that you have? No matter how they try and think that they are not nice, that they are nice or they are different, that it, it's going to come out. Evil begot evil. Satan begot Satan. And that's why they don't want to uh, talk about slavery, to put it to rest. You see. In England, the queen gave the slave master money, reparation money, for losing his slave. That's what she did. She paid them. But, but slavery don't get anything. Slavery and the four parents. All the wicked evil things that they do for England with black people. They pay the slave master money and their family. How much million dollars? But slavery don't get anything. And you're going to take people and, and say people bitter and people this and people that. It's in the back of our mind. So Kanye West, I hope you learn your lesson. I hope you see who like you or who love you. I, I don't give a shit. You're not sick. People said you this, you that. You know wrong from right. You know who love you. And stop going on with the stupidness. And get your striking brain in order. Think as a black man. Pull up your bootstrap. Strategize. And do something. You say some evil things about your race. But you know something? We forgive you. We forgive you. We want you to learn a lesson. And if you don't learn a lesson from this, and you turn out and do the things like OJ did, we turn our back from you for good. Just like when OJ went to prison that time. Every black people turn their back from OJ. Because OJ come out, uh, uh, get away from that. And OJ go and go right back into another white woman. And we turn our back from him and he went to prison. Not a black person said shit about him. We will give you another chance to make it right. We will give you another chance to make it right. But when you mess up again, baby, you are on your own. You are on your own. And that one with name Candice, her day is coming. Her day is coming. When she, when she sued the school, the NAACP was and everybody was behind her. When white people were calling her black and nigger, black people was behind her. But then she come up trying to get money and she'll say any stupid thing about her race. And wearing t-shirts saying white life matters. Where is her brain? But then they have a thing they put on TV and saying uh, brain and crack. Where is her brain? I know you got to get a little older before you have wisdom. 
but keep yourself with some people that can teach you and, and tell you things. Stop going to people that's not going to teach you anything. That is envious of the things that you have. And talk about you the minute you left the, the, the room. They talk about you like a dog. I used to work as a, a secretary in Fort Lauderdale for a big company. I won't name names. I'm backside. It wasn't me who was the, uh, was the secretary to the president. But the secretary left and I get that job. And I have to go up and down with them to do minutes and to do this and travel for them. Bahamas there and boat. And, and when those son of a bitch get into a room, if you hear the things they say about black people, I'm sitting there. I go, Barb, oh, Barb, oh, we don't mean anything. When they realize I was sitting there, don't, don't tape it, don't make any notes of it. Oh, just the really, just delete that part. Don't, 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 don't put that in the notes. Don't do. The things that they say about black people, you wouldn't believe it. I am black. I'm very black. I'm dark like shit. So you can't say I'm even mixed. I'm not mixed. I'm black. Black, black, black. Ah, what is it? Brown, brown, brown. Whatever it is. So you can't, you can't. Realize that you don't see me in the room. When they realize I was there, eventually, I have to be be move out from. I was still the secretary, but I never followed them on a, on a meeting. I never follow them. They get a white girl to follow them on the meeting because the shit that they say and the shit that they do. Call black people big and fat and ugly and look at that big fat one. We have to get some oversized chair to put them in. They are so damn big. Look at that big fat ass. All they do is eat, eat, eat all the time and all the and on and the beat goes on. Those are the things they say when they are in a room by themselves. I heard a woman say on TikTok the same thing. You because she look white. She's from Jamaica and she look like she white. And they think that she's white. And she said the things that they say about black people behind closed door and when they are in a room, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. What the hatred that these people have in their heart. Give us money and send us back to Africa. And all the things that black people make and contribute to. The toilet seat you're sitting on that was designed by black people. So many things. Washing machine to make your life easier. So many things that black people did. Give us all our pattern and send us on. And see how your life is go or going. Because you're as dumb as a doornail. Look and see how your life is going to go. Your petty ass. I am I am so I, I am so frustrated. I was in that 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 that, that meeting last night and and, and I, oh my god. I, I, you know, it, it is so bad. It is so bad. Not good at all. Not good at all. But the Lord knows. Thank you for watching Barb Molly and Princey.